Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna be talking about the 75 Soft, where I am today since it is day 49, all right? We are almost to the finish line. So if you're somebody that is suffering through chronic pain, chronic illness, you're gonna wanna watch this. So what I'm gonna show you guys is what day one looked like for me and what it took for me to get to day 49. It was a journey and it still is a journey, but I'm so glad that I started. Do I have any regrets? No, I don't. And if anybody's watching this that's contemplating on doing it, just do it. Like, what's the worst that can happen? You not starting is the worst that can happen. Because honestly, this challenge can change your life. As cliche as challenges may sound, placing yourself in an uncomfortable situation will get you to where you want to be. I'm suffering from chronic pain, rheumatoid arthritis, and it took almost three years to figure out where my body is in my fitness journey because there were there was no fitness journey. It was more like a healing trial and error journey. I gained 60 pounds. Uh, if you look at my old videos when me crying about rheumatoid arthritis, I really was suffering physically and mentally and I had to come up with a pain management system that worked for me to get me to where I am today. So if you are struggling, if you're going through challenges, here's my testimony that if I can do it, you can do it too, but you gotta be willing to commit and take the time to figure out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And that could take three years, two years. So you gotta think this is for the long haul. And you'll thank yourself later when you are in the stage that I am today because the videos that I had in my past was difficult. And you probably are on day one, but let's get to the day that I'm at eventually. So I'm gonna show you guys a video of what day one looked like for me and up till now. So let's get to the video. Yes, sir. Hey, everybody, it is September 1st. I am headed to the gym. getting half gallons because it keeps the milk fresh when it's not open so I like just getting the little half gallons It is day 28 of the 75 soft challenge and I just dragged Jay to come to the gym with me and I'm so excited. It is 626 and the gym opens super soon. So we're about to get our stuff ready, get my water bottle, make him drink some pre-workout so he can have the energy that he needs because we're going to be in there for a good hour and 30 minutes. Jay, you ready for this workout? No. Uh. <laughs> no. Evie's going to miss me. Evie's going to miss me. My waist trainer now so my waist is wasting but i try not to use my waist trainer often because i just want to see my pooch so i can really work on it sometimes when you hide it and you tuck it away you just don't really focus on it i don't know it's weird but. how to get this work out in two miles done let's go we in it to win it <laughs> So let's do some chit chatting. You know your girl had to get some Starbies. They had a 50% off coupon deal. So I took advantage of that. Starbucks is very expensive. <laughs> and I like to get a low calorie drink. I always use almond milk because almond milk is kind of like 
lesson on the calories. It is day 28 of the 75 soft challenge and since it's Saturday, you already know the drill. I get to work out with my fit fam. I just feel so much stronger. I feel like I'm just mentally capable of accomplishing this challenge, trying to find a way to continue and not quit. I had to reprogram my brain on how to achieve those type of body results without having to kill myself in the gym. So that's the main purpose of this channel for me and this challenge for me is to show people that you don't have to do the most in the gym to get the results that you're looking for. It's honestly just remaining consistent as much as we hear that all the time oh remain consistent but it's hard to be consistent do this do this for yourself find your purpose find your why to remove that chip that chip in our brain is malfunctioned so you have to throw that away and get a brand new chip in your brain so that way you can become the best version of yourself we're robots we just need an update. We gotta update our software, okay? Today is gonna be a long day. I gotta go to a birthday party. We're going to do a little bit of decluttering in the garage because I'm tired of my garage looking the way that it does. And then doing a little bit of tidying in my bedroom area. So I'm down here because on my to-do list, I was supposed to tackle this studio office space of mine because it's so cluttery. My husband and I share this area because he's a YouTuber too. He talks about Cowboys. So if you're a Dallas Cowboys fan, check him out, JC Cowboys Network. Sometimes I get on his live streams as well. So join that family too. What I wanted to do was switch out my Marc Jacobs black tote to, let me show you guys. The brown tote because we are in fall now. So what do you guys think? Keep the black or stick with the brown because it's like fall it's like you know we're in fall season i like wearing this for fall attire so y'all let me know these are like i don't really have too many bougie expensive bags but these are my two work totes that i swap out every like you know when, when it's time to swap it out but it's time to swap this out because the black you did great throughout the entire year, but it's time to switch out to the brown. All right, so I am on day 36 of the 75 soft challenge and since it's Sunday, it is my active recovery day. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference of what I look like from the previous days of this vlog, but I am doing and feeling a lot better and a lot lighter. Um, on Monday, I went to the emergency room because I was having a lot of pelvic pain. After them checking me, it could be honestly like a muscle spasm that occurred from the workout in the last couple of it, you know, in the last couple of slides that you saw. Cause Saturdays I usually work out with my turf crew. So oh, this, this view is a little bit better. But the 75th day, I feel like I am going to reinvent myself and become a totally different person, not only because of like bettering my health and the way that I look, even though I know my face is getting smaller, the inflammation is coming down, uh, my muscle, my legs are getting more muscular. Um, I just, I'm just trying to do better and just see myself as the best version of myself. So right now, my kitchen is kind of destroyed, let alone my hands. I sliced myself with a broken coffee glass making some coffee this morning and the coffee cup just like dropped on the counter and shattered and cut my my hand. So this is gonna be kind of tough with my decluttering process, but I'm gonna do the best that I can. So right now I'm going through each drawers to like remove all the Tupperware I don't use. Like getting rid of, of getting rid of these like i'm gonna ask my kids if they want to use this and then just run them to the ground and trash them because like i don't need any more cups i don't need any more like starbucks cups or like any little tumblers i'm gonna keep this one because i am a part of the yelp elite team <laughs> so we do like to keep their cute little knickknacks and souvenirs it's kind of like a thing for the Yelp community. But other than that, I'm getting rid of a lot of Tupperware, giving it to family that need it because I know that every time it's the holiday season for leftovers, they need Tupperware. So I'm going to donate those. So going through my coffee cups and getting rid of any coffee cups I don't use because I actually don't use a lot of them. And then go through each drawer of my kitchen and get rid of stuff that I no longer need and doesn't serve a purpose to me anymore. Because in all actuality, we hoard so much stuff 
you, me, everybody, that we actually don't use. And if we don't use it and it's been years, just get rid of it, donate it, um, trash it if it's old or icky, like, and it comes to clothes, products, beauty supplies, I'm literally doing a whole entire run. And it's gonna take me a few weekends, a few days off for me to fully complete my project. And y'all know I love me some chike protein powder. This is my favorite, favorite protein coffee hands down. They do not pay me to talk about this, but they have sent me free product. And I reached out to them to see if they did any collaborations because after finding their product in Wegmans, I was addicted. It was a wrap. So this is my Chike stash. The cinnamon flavor is my favorite flavor, y'all. I can literally just live off of the cinnamon one and the pumpkin one. So good. Now, this is like my first Stanley Cup ever. Yeah, this is my first Stanley Cup. How many Stanley Cups do y'all have? Let's keep it real. How many do you guys have? I think I have, I have three. I have three Stanley Cups. I had four, but I left one in the gym and it was gone. Somebody just yoinked it. So I only have three right now, which is okay. I actually got recommended a hydro jug, which I like better than the Stanley. Don't tell anybody I said that. And it's only because this hydro jug is leak proof. So I'm actually kind of glad I got my Stanley, my, my, my gym Stanley stolen <laughs> or taken or lost or trash because I would not had a reason to buy this hydro jug. And this is a game changer, especially if you travel with a water jug. This is a 32 ounce, I believe. Yeah, 32 ounce. It's about 30 something, $32, but it's leak proof. Easy to wash. Now, fast forward, we're here today in day 49. Some advice that I could give you guys is to write down what your day 75 look like. Like, what does day 75 look like to you? Who is this person? For me, I was like, she's gonna be a baddie. She's gonna be more healthy. She, her cardiovascular is gonna be on point. She's gonna be able to jog at 5.0 speed for 20 minutes. Like I wrote this down. I envisioned my future self so that way I can become her. So if you don't have a vision of who that day 75 looks like, then you can't chase that dream. You can't chase that person. So that's where my mental state was with that part. Once you do that, set up a game plan, a fail proof game plan. Like what could you do to not fail this challenge? Like what obstacles can you remove to make sure that this becomes fail proof? For me, I've been getting my water, I've been getting my reading, I do audio book. There were certain hacks that I took upon myself so that way I can complete that check mark for each challenge. Well, I mentioned in my reels that I can't drink a gallon of water because having my illness, I regurgitate water real quick, especially if my belly feels too, too full. So I stay within a 90 ounce water intake. So I, I always hit that. I, I drink about three 32 ounce Stanley. So that's almost 120 ounces, but I don't ever reach 120 ounces. It's not realistic and it's not sustainable for me. Taking photos. You don't have to take photos in the challenge, but I've been making videos on Instagram. So if you guys want to follow me and check that out, you can. Also my TikTok too. So I got Instagram and TikTok that I post all the time. So you guys can check that out because I like to put accountability videos as if we are doing this challenge together. Cause what's gonna happen is, is that after the 75 days, I'm gonna restart it either December 1st or the end of November. So stay tuned for that because I want you guys to join me. I want you to be a part of this community so that way we could get these gains and get these results. Other than that, if you have chronic pain, Make sure that you're taking your medicine, making sure that you stretch. Get back to the old school workouts, like where you're just using your own body weight. You do not have to automatically get to those crazy circuit training workouts. Don't start off like that. If you're suffering from chronic pain, start off slow. Use your own body weight and eventually that, that, that fat on your arm will slowly creep up. And as of like the weight and the scale, the scale honestly hasn't budged for me. I'm still the same weight, but when I tell you I can fit my ring, I can fit my ring again. Like I just see so many inches coming off my neck, off my face. You'll see in the video before I made a video of day one of what my face looked like. Now look at my face. 
my face isn't as inflamed. You can see my jawline. Like pay attention to those types of results. Recomposition is a real thing. Transfer, a fat transfer, not fat transfer, but you are transferring your fat into muscle. You're converting the fat into muscle. Like my arms were more jiggly wiggly. Now it's not as jiggly wiggly, it's more solid. That's what I pay attention to. I pay attention to my forearms, my fingers. Pay attention to those results to keep you motivated. But again, you gotta remember that this is for the long haul. You got, this is a forever thing because we are not going back to who we were. We are not going back to that big back activity. We're not doing that. I was making videos of how my rolls look like, so that way I can do a roll comparison. How many rolls did I get off my back, <laughs> okay? As crazy as it sounds, but just think of compound interest. And if you could remove this much fat off your body every other day, why would you not start? Why would you not do it? I'm going to make another video um, about day 75 or when this is over and keep you guys updated, but hop on to my social media site so you can see day-to-day -day live videos, live recordings, because I post every single day, God willing, <laughs> okay? Every single day I'm posting. Um, I'm actually preparing for the DC turkey trot that they're having in Washington, DC. Since I'm in the DMV area, I do this run, walk every year. My best time was 32 minutes I think about five years ago, five or six years ago, because this would be my seventh time doing it. So I'm trying to get my time as close to 32 minutes, we'll see. But so far I've been doing like baby 5Ks on the treadmill this week. So I've been finishing my three miles within 37 minutes. So I'm just trying to get to 32 minutes with a good pace. So I'm not a runner and I don't want to claim to be a runner, but for this, goal for myself. I'm just trying to keep up a good jogging pace that will land me at 32 minutes finishing three miles. So we'll see. I will keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I'm spreading nothing but positivity, positive vibes your way. Just stay strong. It's a mental game and do what you got to do to fix your mental so that way you can fix fix your physical because it's all a mind game. And I talk about it all the time. Like if you're a mother, if you're a wife, if you're a single mom, if you're a college student, battling with all of this stress, all of this work, we gotta find a balance to that so that way our minds can be right. Our minds can be motivated to obtain that success that we want and get to those dreams and those goals and those aspirations. Let's get it, y'all. We are day 49. I will see you guys in the next couple weeks on this particular topic. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch this vibe. I'll see you guys. Bye.